What a beautiful day it is here at the 2014 Pebble Beach Concourse de Legance, and we are here with our great friend, Thomas Plasinski, Director of Communications for BMW. Tom, how are you? Very well, thanks. I'm glad the sun came out and burned off the fog, and here it is, Pebble Beach 2014, fantastic. I have to say that I don't think I've ever seen it so packed as it is today. I mean, it's people are just flowing everywhere. I mean, you got some great cars, and you said you have some... BMW has some great cars on the lawn as well. That's right. This year is, well, we don't have too many cars on the lawn, but the two BMWs that we have are really, truly fantastic. Um, and there's also a couple of uh, two-wheel drive, uh, two wheel vehicles on the lawn that are BMWs that are wonderful. Uh, but, uh, but we have a beautiful 328 that, uh, that is here. It came from Germany, so it's, it's, uh, it's come over and made a long trek over gorgeous car, and then a 503 that is a, a car that's been in the U.S. for quite some time, recently restored, and uh, and the lady who owns it is is wearing an outfit that matches the car, and it looks fantastic here. That is unbelievable, and not, I mean, BMW's involvement in this isn't just Pebble Beach. I mean, you've had this whole weekend, and starting with, I believe, the Quail and, and also the Motorsports Gathering. Exactly. So Pebble Beach is kind of the, the last day of the whole week long of ce celebration of cars, and, and BMW is a big part of that whole celebration. So we start the week off with, uh, with Legends of the Autobahn on Friday, and, which is a concours for German cars. And this year they changed venues, a gorgeous venue, nice golf course. And because it was very close to uh, Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca, we were able to bring over some of our race cars. And, and for the fans and, and the customers that were at the Concours, we were able to, uh, to drive the race cars over from Laguna. So it made it a really great experience for people. And then uh, I spoke of Mazda Raceway. At Mazda Raceway, we also have the Rolex Monterey Motorsport Reunion which uh, we are always interested in participating in. And motorsport is at the core of the BMW uh, DNA, so for us, we have to be there. So we have three cars running this year. Um, the 3.0 CSL that won Sebring in 1975, uh, which is a wonderful car, That's probably the jewel, the crown jewel of our collection. And then the second one is uh, an M1 uh, IMSA Group 4, uh, driven by Randy Popst, of, uh, who's a pro driver and also the, uh, the tester for uh, uh, Motor Trend magazine. And then the third car is a recently restored Alpina 2002 Ti. So this is a really, it's an older car, 1970, um, done, in, done by race team and now manufacturer Alpina. Uh, who you you know from uh, B7 and B6 now? This was a this team started as as a tuner for BMW cars, and so we're uh, we're seeing that car race for the first time this weekend, and then it culminates with the auction last night where we had uh, at the Gooding auction where we uh, auctioned off a an I8 a BMW I8 for charity. It was a special one-off I8 for the Pebble Beach Concours uh, charities. And, uh, and that car sold for $825,000, which is fantastic for the charities. And then here we are today at the Pebble Beach Concours. It, I, I find it unbelievable that BMW would do such a wonderful thing to put an i8 in the auction block and all the proceeds go to the charities. That is fantastic. I believe it's the Pebble Beach charities as well, that they work with a lot of the uh, children, underprivileged children in Monterey. Right, exactly. So it, not all the proceeds went to it, but a, a large, actually a very large portion of the proceeds went to it. So basically, actually Jay Leno was, was the auctioneer almost last night, where he said, you know, if you were looking to buy an i8, you pay $135,000, but you may pay more. In this case, you pay more, but you paid 135 and the rest goes to charity, which is a wonderful thing. And, uh, and, and we're really pleased at the, at the value that it went for last night. Highest, highest ever paid for an i8 at auction. So um, really good evening. Well, Thomas, thank you so much for being on the show here with us. And we would like to thank you for having us here at this unbelievable and incredible weekend here at Pebble Beach. Well, it's, it's definitely our pleasure. I mean, if you're if someone who loves automobiles, you have to come to this week. It is, it is the mecca for it in the U.S. And so for us, we like to be here every year. So, Camillo, I'm sure we'll see you again next year here. I think I'm going to hold you to that. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. 
Gracias a Camilo Alfaro de Autoproyecto.com por esta entrevista con Tom Prusinski sobre todas las actividades que tuvo BMW allá en Pebble Beach durante el fin de semana. Por cierto, BMW también aprovechó la ocasión para entregar las primeras unidades del BMW i8, el auto deportivo eléctrico Plug-in Hybrid, que salió a la venta ya este verano y recién este fin de semana se entregaron las primeras 8 unidades de este espectacular auto. Como siempre, vayan a nuestro canal de YouTube, Autos Javier Mota, para que vean las actividades que estuvimos cubriendo durante el fin de semana allá.